hello friends welcome to my channel code blocks in this video i want to discuss another we portal and next problem and the problem is hotel double cross in this problem you have to find the find you have to find room number okay so basically you are given with three array of uh, numbers input one input two and input three okay and your first task is to in step one okay you first of all you have to generate a new array of numbers by adding the numbers present at the same index in these three arrays okay so that means 0 1 2 3 this is the index and the numbers are 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 5 and 1 3 5 7 so you have to produce a new array okay by adding these uh, numbers that are present at the same index okay and so the the new array becomes 1 plus 2 plus 1 that is 4 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 is equal to 8 and now it is 12 and this is 16 okay 4 8 12 and 16 so this is our new array okay now in step 2 the new array generated in step 1 represent the position of elements in three arrays that means these array numbers are the basically positions okay <coughs> the first number 4 okay so this is the first number first number four represent the number in fourth position in the first array so in step two we have to find four numbers okay that are basically stored in this given position 4 8 12 and 16 in this in this four position four number are present and this position are okay so first second third and fourth so we have to find these four numbers so first of all the four represent the number in the fourth position of the first array so fourth position of the first array represent this four okay so our first number is four next and the second number eight represent the number in eight position in the second array but our uh, input two contains only four elements two three and four and five okay one two three four and again you have to travel you have to count it from the first six seven eight and uh, sorry one uh, two three four five six seven eight so basically five is the ar uh, number that are present in eighth position okay in second area so four plus five and now the third number 12 represent the 12th position that are present in the third array so in this way third array contains only one um, that means third array contains only one three five seven okay so we have to uh, count it again and again that means one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that means seven here yeah. okay so 12 position elements now seven <laughs> and now again the fourth number are present in 16th position in the first array okay now comes again to the first array so four is the fourth position array number again we have to count from one to one in this way we found that a four is the 16th position number that are present in the first array okay so this is four and the step three we have to find these numbers we are finding the numbers that are present in the corresponding position and add them to find the room number okay so adding 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2 is equal to 20 so this is our room number okay and the main logic to create the to solve this hotel double cost first of all we have to create a list okay and the, in that list uh, we have to put these values that means the newly gener uh, newly uh, create uh, generated array numbers first of all we have to put it into the list okay and then we have to traverse the list and find this number okay using for loop we have to traverse the list and then uh, we have to find the four uh, the phone number phone numbers first of all create a list and then we have to add this uh, um, add these numbers into the list and then we have to traverse the list and using for loop and then we are uh, uh, using if else loop we are finding this phone numbers okay and last of all we have to count uh, we have to uh, add them this phone numbers to uh, get the room number corresponding room number okay so that's all 
now comes into the coding section okay so our uh, first trick is to create a list and store the newly created or newly generated array that means uh, by uh, by adding the elements uh, that are present in the same index we have to generate the new array uh, newly uh, created uh, we have to generate a set of numbers and then uh, store it into the list okay list and now take a for loop for integer i is equal to 0 i less than input 4 here input 4 means the size of the array and you are uh, you consider the input 1 input 2 and input 3 are the three uh, array that contains the elements and now we have to add uh, the newly generated array number that means uh, we have to find the set of numbers that means uh, the the numbers that are present in the same index uh, in the three array we have to find them some that means input of i input one of i sorry the list contains their summation <coughs> of uh, every element that are present in the same index that their summation are stored into the list okay so input 1 then input 2 of i and then input 3 of i okay then input 3 of i their summation will be stored into the list okay now we are <coughs> getting a newly create a newly uh, set of arrays or set of numbers okay or list of numbers now we have to find our room number okay so integer room is equal to initialize with zero now we have to traverse the list okay for integer i is equal to zero i less than input 4 that means the list size here input 4 also the list size and uh, then i plus plus okay and now we have to check one condition to get the first number i modulo 3 double is equal to zero okay if it is double is equal to that is zero that means we are getting the first number and to get the first number we have to check another condition if list dot get of i that means the first index uh, sorry first number then that means the first position okay and modulo by input 4 if it is double equals to zero then uh, then our first number present is the last element of the input one okay and we have to add them with sum so input one sorry uh, it is not sum it is the room number okay so room double is equal to room plus input one of n minus one sorry here size is input four okay input four minus one and now if uh, the first element of the list modulo input 4 that means modulo size of the array uh, is if it is double not double equal to 0 then we, in that case our first number is room double is equal, room is equal to room plus our first number is the input of input 1 of i minus 1 okay so, sorry it's i uh, it's not i minus 1 it's the list dot get of i okay um, modulo input 4 minus 1 so i think you have not understood it properly I think you have not understood properly uh, the what is i modulo 3 double equals to 0 so basically to get first number okay uh, we have to check if uh, i modulo 3 double equals to 0 then we are getting the first number okay the first number um, must be present okay in the first array at the fourth position okay so here list dot get of i initially i is equal to 0 okay initially i is equal to 0 that means list dot get of i that means 4 okay 4 modulo input size is 4 that means list is list is 4 modulo 4 double equal to 0 that means we are getting this 4 number okay if if it is not double equal to 0 that means uh, if it is double equal to 0 that means our um, respected number or uh, our number present at the n index okay in the array 
but if it is not equal to 0 that means our number must be present either this number okay except the last number if it is double equal to 0 then our number must be present at the end index and it is not double equal to then mean our number are present in the uh, in in this index okay but which one to, and to, to get uh, the particular index we have to uh, subtract uh, we have to extract this value list dot get of i modulo 4 minus 1 okay if it is double equal to 0 that means our number is 4 and if it is not uh, present uh, double equal to 0 that means our number present in this number except in this numbers in this indexes except the last indexes and which one to get the correct uh, index and uh, to get the correct number uh, okay so our index becomes list dot get by module of input 4 minus 1 this is our index and the uh, number will be input 4 or input 1 of that index okay and so this is this and this loop that mean i modulo 3 double equal to this is for first number and for second number this is we have to check the i modulo 3 double equal to 1 and for uh, third number we have to check i modulo 3 double equal to 2 and again for fourth number fourth number present in the uh, first array so again we have to check that i modulo 3 double equals to 0 for fourth number okay so in this way these loops are executed okay i think now you are understand uh, proper uh, properly why uh, why you use this for loop why you this why you use this if loop why we use this else loop okay this else loop basically used uh, to get the number if it is present in this uh, indexes except the last indexes okay uh, so now um, we have to check uh, we have to find the second number okay so for this case we have to check i modulo 3 double equals to 1 if it is double equals to 1 then we are uh, getting the second number okay and we have to chain again we have to check if list dot get of i that means the second element of the list um, if it's modulo input 4 um, that means the size of the array equals to double equals to this 0 that means it's present in the okay uh, if it is double equals to 0 then means the our uh, corresponding number okay present in the last element uh, last in the input 2 so that means the our corresponding number present in the uh, last uh, element okay last position of the input 2 input 2 of input 4 minus 1 that means n minus 1 okay at n minus 1 position i mean if it's not that means uh, it in list dot get of i modulo input 4 not double equal to 0 that in this case room is equal to room plus input 4 of sorry input 2 of list dot get of i minus 1 position okay and uh, again we, if uh, to get okay again to get the third number we have to check we have to check if i modulo double equals to i modulo 3 if it is double equal to 2 then we are getting the third number okay so in that case uh, our number is present in the input 3 of the last position and it is not equal to 0 then it is present in the this position okay and to get the first number again to get the first number we have to uh, to get the fourth number that are present in the first array so we have to check the again the in i modulo 3 double x to 0 okay so in this way you're getting the row number and last of all we have to return our room number return room so check output Twenty okay, so our output becomes twenty. That means four plus five plus seven plus four. That's all.